Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Worker Studio. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how we can start modeling with the SketchUp very simple and easy. So till end of this video, please watch this video. So let's get to work. First of all, I don't have any type of toolbar for drawing or 3D modeling. So I need to click on the window view toolbars, click on the large tool set in here. And now I can click on the close option. I can move large tool set to this place like that and try to manage my drawing tools in here. So if you want to activate other type of toolbars, you only need to click on the view toolbars and you have the access to different type of plugins or drawing tools. So I'm going to close it in here. I only need this large toolbar in here. So before I start my modeling, I need to save this file. So I'm going to press Ctrl S and save it on my desktop, for example, and name it 3D model and press save. So I'm going to click on the window model info and now I want to change the unit of drawing. So in the model info, we have units option here. And if I change it from meter to centimeter or millimeter, it completely depends on you. I can change my drawing unit. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and I want to model some simple bench for the uh, urban design or architectures or woodworkers. So I'm going to draw my rectangle from here to here, for example, the size of it is about some number like 44 comma 128 and press enter. So this is the uh, surface which you created right now. And I'm going to click on the push or pull option, the item which is next to the move icon in here. So if I click on the push or pull, I can extrude my project very simple and easy. So I think some type of number about 44 centimeter can be really good for this one so now i want to add some details and changes on my bench so i'm going to click on it convert it to the group in here so i'm going to make a group in this place click on the rectangle another time draw my first rectangle exactly on this side of my 3d model like that click on the offset tool offset it to the outside about four centimeter now I can delete inner offset. So I'm going to click on the uh, extrude tool, press control on my keyboard and extrude it about two centimeters. So I'm going to click on it, convert it to the components and press create option. I can click on the move option in here and move it exactly from this endpoint to this part of my project. Now I can add some changes on it. So I'm going to move it to the right side on the green axis about two centimeter and I want to take some multiple copies. So I'm going to press control when I activated my move option. If I press control, you can see plus icon exactly on my cursor. So uh, I'm going to take some copies about four centimeter and now I need other two duplicated models. So I need to type two X and press enter. Something like that will be happen and I think it can be really good. So these items are components. It means that if I change one of them, all of them will be totally changed. So I'm going to click on one of them in here, click on the align option, draw my first line here and second one, for example, here, click on the push or pull and remove it like that. Very simple and easy. So I can select these part of my job, press delete, and now I have some model like this. I think it can be really wonderful. If I click on the push or pull option, now I can add some different type of designs and modelings on it. For example, 24 centimeter from here and 10 centimeter from here. So this is the some type of design which we created for it. I can select all of them by drawing some selection box in here. Click on the move option, press Ctrl, copy activated for me, and I can take one copy in some distance about 114 centimeter everything is fine in here so uh, i'm going to add some type of wood panels on this part of my job so uh, i'm going to click on the uh, rectangle another time draw my rectangle for example five centimeter comma one centimeter click on it convert it to the component another time press create in here 
And now I want to take multiple copies from this object. So I'm going to click on the move, press control, take my first copy on the six centimeter distance and repeat it, for example, five times or six times. It completely depends on you. Hold control on your keyboard and select all of these objects in here. Click on the move option, move it to this endpoint. The number is three centimeters. So half of it is 1.5 and press enter. Everything is done in here, select it. Click on the push or pull option in here, press control and draw your wood panels in here. Something like this one. All right. Everything is done. I think my bench is ready for different type of modeling. So uh, I'm going to click on the uh, tape measure tool. This is the last step of these 3D modelings. So uh, I'm going to draw my line about 21 centimeter, another about 16 centimeter, and another one about 16 centimeter. So I'm going to take another tape measure line from here to here. For example, some number about maybe nine centimeter. Click on the uh, line option in here. Draw my line from here to here to here. Everything is done, but you can see we can't see any type of changes because we draw separated model on the another model. The fixing point is that press Ctrl Z, right click on it and click on the edit group on your bench body. So I'm going to click on the edit group and click on the rectangle and draw my rectangle. Now if I click on the push or pull, I can push it to the back side and everything is done. So I can delete these tape measure lines in here and finally I want to create some borderline between these options in here. I want to pick up this wood panel in here, but if I want to change it, all of them will be changed. I don't want this. So I'm gonna right click and convert it to the make unique component. It completely make differences from this model to other type of components. So I'm gonna click on the make unique, select it, select this line, click on the uh, move item, take your one copy in here, another one in here and the last one in here. Select this one, delete it, press control and start extruding it something like this. For example, 19 centimeter. Everything is done and this is the final model which we have in here. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your valuable time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.